So welcome back everyone, Mike here. It is another beautiful day here in Western Pennsylvania. It is Friday morning right now. I took a vacation day today and it's already 60 degrees. Now later on today, it's supposed to hit 70 and the forecast for the next four or five days looks identical to what it is today. So I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, this morning, I'm stacking a little bit of firewood. Got the uh, garage door guy up there installing the garage doors on the new building. Next on the agenda, I need to stack and sticker some of that red oak that I've been sawing. I'll show you how I do that. I spend a lot of time and effort into getting a nice stack of lumber, and I'll explain why in just a little bit. And then after that, we need to load up a quart of firewood in the dump trailer for delivery. Just kind of got all kind of things going on here today. So uh, I'm going to get back to work here. We'll bring you along, kind of explain what I do, and uh, we'll go from there.
All right, I got my pad all ready here. This is that uh, 2A limestone, inch and a half down to dust. I got my big pallet on here. Now this isn't exactly level. It does slope that way just a little bit, but that doesn't bother me. What's important to me is that when you walk on it, you know, the pallet's touching the ground everywhere and it's nice and flat. I'm not saying it's perfectly level, but it's flat. Well, I'm going to run up to the house now and see what the uh, hunt man's up to. And then in a little bit, we'll come back down here and we'll start stacking and stickering some lumber. All right, I just got back. I had went up to the house for a little bit and Hunter and I had some running to do. But I got some uh, two by fours here. This is that red pine. Now these are an inch and a half thick. And these are actually four inches wide. I'm going to use these on the bottom. Now the forks on the tractor are an inch and three eighths. So if I use these, I can just get underneath them to, you know, pick a lift the lumber off. It would be better to use four by fours across the bottom. I just don't have any cut right now. So I'm going to go ahead and use these two by fours. They'll be fine. All right, I got uh, seven of these two by fours on here spaced out. Three, four, five, six, seven. And they're on about uh, 18 inch center, something like that. That's, uh, that's about as wide as I want to go. Usually I like to do them 16 or 18 inches wide. Alright, I'm going to start with these uh, big wide ones and put them on the bottom because those are the ones that are most likely to cup. So I'm going to have as much weight on them as I can. Plus, these are the heaviest. I want to get these ones out of the way. I brought the reinforcements down. You're going over here. Now. Right. But... That ends wire. Got to come to me a little bit. Okay. Which I don't mind. It's nice and sunny out. Beautiful day. My shorts packed away and I had to get my 
summer shorts out again. The next seven days look beautiful. Forecasted to be beautiful. I haven't seen them yet, so I can't say they look beautiful. The forecast for the next seven days looks beautiful. Driving that tractor. What's that? You're doing all right driving that tractor. I'll tell you what, did you see any of the comments from the uh, last video? Nobody seems to want us to uh, drop the numbers, but I think I have an idea. Oh boy. We'll Sim we're going to go with symbols now. <laughs> we'll talk more about that in a bit, but yeah, we mentioned in the last video that uh, we're not going to number our videos after we get to a thousand. And there's a lot of people that would like us to keep them, but we'll talk more about it. I think I have an idea that'll work. Hieroglyphics. Something like that. <laughs> You're going to have to pick it up and go over some of it, trying to... Yeah. That'll work, huh? Yeah. Boy, isn't that pretty? Pick it up again and come to me just a hair. Okay. Now one of these little ones. Okay, you need to go to the outside edge with it. There you go. That's good. All right, that's it for now on the uh, lumber stacking. That came out really well. That's good. Like I said, all the stickers are on 16 inch centers. Everything's laying nice and flat. What I'll do, I'll keep working on this pile for another week or two when we're sawing, putting 10 footers on it. And we'll get it up about as high as uh, you are, Melissa, maybe even a little bit taller. But about halfway up, what I'll do is put some four by fours in between it so I can lift them off, you know, in lifts. I wouldn't be able to lift one you know, six feet high like this. That right. stuff's really, really heavy. But yeah, got a nice flat base. Now it's easy. It's getting everything set up and ready to go. Now you can just kind of put the boards to it. But I'm glad she came down to help me because uh, those first ones, they're like 26 inches wide. Yeah. They're very, very heavy. Even these ones there on the right side, they're almost 13. And those other ones are uh, like seven and a half. So that's good. Right. But anyway, I'm going to put the uh, firewood bucket on the tractor. Go get my truck, load up the dump trailer for a uh, firewood delivery next. Okay. What are you going to get into? I might just go start a fire, sit outside. Nice day for that. Yeah, we like to do that. All right, I'll see you in a bit. All right, we got the uh, garage doors. 
And I'll tell you right now, Melissa's not 100% sold on the color, but I'm hoping it grows on her some. That was as close as we could get to match the uh, clay siding. Uh, we talked about getting dark brown like the Wayne's coating, but that brown on the garage doors is a little different than that. So we rolled the dice on this. I kind of like them, but I think once everything's done over here with the patio and everything else, you won't even really notice them. But uh, they're a nice insulated garage door. Uh, they should work out really well. But what a day, huh? It's just beautiful. beautiful. And here's the hunt man. Say hi, Hunter. Once I just went down and got the mail, got a package. All right, got a nice load of uh, Pennsylvania's finest hardwoods there. Actually, I can tuck just a little bit more around the sides there. But uh, yeah, that'll be a pretty good load. This is going to a real nice elderly gentleman tomorrow morning, real early. You'll probably see that in an upcoming video. Now, back to what we were talking about earlier as far as numbering all the videos. You know, I mentioned the other day, once we reach 1,000 videos, I'm no longer going to do that. Now, reading through the comments, there's a lot of people that seem to like that. So I think I have a pretty good idea, a good compromise, I guess you could say. What I'll do in the description of each video, the first thing that will be in that description is, you know, number 1026, Outdoors with the Morgan. So if you search for something, it'll pop right up that way. Because like I explained the other day, the problem is nobody is searching for, you know, number 1026. They're searching for things like, you know, Wood Miser Sawmill, Kubota Tractor, Dump Trailer, or just outdoors with the Morgans or whatever and you can't lose that many spaces at the beginning something that you could do that could help would be to share our videos you know I was looking at our analytics page the other day and in the last 28 days we had like 3.3 million views and you can see how many times people share our videos you know send them in an email put them on their Facebook page or whatever and out of 3.3 million views, they were only shared like 11 or 1,200 times, something like that. So it's not very much. So if you want to do that, that would help things a lot. I'd appreciate it. But uh, yeah, I think that's about it. So we'll see what happens. I mean, we could always go back to if it doesn't work out. But once we hit 1,000, the number will be in the description and we'll see how that goes. And what else did I want to mention? I think that's about it. Tomorrow morning, early morning firewood delivery uh, to an elderly friend. We're going to do that. I got some more stone coming from up, you know, for around the building. Uh, we got all kind of stuff going on. We do, but this weather has been just fantastic. I know at some point the bottom's going to drop out of it, but uh, I'm going to enjoy it while I can. But anyway, I hope everyone has a wonderful weekend. And like I always say, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like button, click subscribe, and don't forget, share them with your friends. Thanks.